Hey, how can I help you? I have a signed fiddle by Charlie Daniels. And he added the devil went down to Georgia on it. Okay. It's about a guy who played against the devil for a golden fiddle for a soul. And he wins. So where'd you get it? I got it from a friend in Nashville. He got it at a golf course. He knew Charlie Dan was going to be there. He signed it there at the course. Were they playing for his soul? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have an autographed fiddle by Charlie Daniels with the added quotations, the devil went down to Georgia, his number one hit. I'm asking $1,500 for it, but I could probably go down as low as $700. If I can sell the fiddle and make a deal, I'd probably buy more memorabilia. I love collecting. Pretty neat. I do love The Devil Went Down to Georgia. I think mm -hmm. it's an amazing song. It hit the country charts at number one. It's a huge song. This particular song really made him an icon. But I know he was a studio musician, and uh, I think he played with uh, Bob Dylan, maybe? He was on three of Bob Dylan's albums. Okay. I never heard of the brand of violin. Do you got a, any paperwork or a picture of him signing it? Or? No, just took my friend's word for it. How much you want for it? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred bucks. Why? Because he added the his number one song. I don't think he usually add notations to his autograph. I really can't give you a value on what it could be worth right now. Do you have an idea? Or? Tell you the truth, I've never sold anything by Charlie Daniels. Um, you want to call somebody up and figure out what it's worth? I'll call Jesse, you call Steve. Okay, I'll give him a call. Hang out for a little bit. Okay. Right. He's coming from Georgia. <laughs> Might be here a while. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? What do we got? Charlie Daniels signed violin. Well, this isn't the violin, because it's not gold. It's not Johnny's, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? This is a uh, 1920s minor self-rescuer. Okay. I've seen them before. Didn't buy them. Big mistake, Rick. Earlier, a guy came in with a Charlie Daniels signed fiddle. This thing is cool. I need to get the signature checked out to see if it's real. But before I do that, I'm going to have Jesse, my music instrument expert, come down to see if this fiddle is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> what do we got? Charlie Daniels signed violin. Well, this isn't the violin because it's not gold. It's not Johnny's, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool. You know, there's a lot of people out there that like Charlie Daniels. Long hair, big beard, not your average 1970s Clean cowboy. Cut. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and he was a little bit rock and roll, I guess, you know. Okay. He's played with everybody. He plays guitar, he plays bass, and he's one of those Swiss Army knife kind of musicians you could bring into the studio and he could cover a lot of ground for you without having to get a bunch of people. He was kind of in the vein of the outlaw guys, not as big as, say, Willie Nelson and them, but Devil Went Down to Georgia's, that's a huge song. So right. that's kind of cool. I know. He probably doesn't write that a lot on stuff. Do you have any idea what it's worth? You know, it's got some dents and dings and stuff on it. The violin is a Cremona. Cremona is like a newer company, overseas made. It's a, you know, kind of a student model. It's not like a super high-end professional violin. Okay. It's not really something that somebody's gonna take around and play gigs with or something. So what's it worth without the signature, that kind of shape? Just the regular violin without the signature. In this condition with the nicks and dings and stuff that are on it, it's probably only worth about 100 bucks. Is that all? Yeah, that's about it. You know, the value in this is probably in the signature, you know, if it's all legit. Fortunately, I don't know anything about that. That's probably where all the money's at. Okay. Cool. All right, thanks, man. No problem. Appreciate it, man. All right, good to see you. Nice to meet you. I don't do a lot in the memorabilia department, but I would imagine that if the signature's worth something, there's quite a few people out there who would buy something with Charlie Daniels' autograph on it. He's kind of an iconic American artist. All right, just hang out a few minutes. We'll figure out what the autograph's worth. All right.